I was recently asked if we turn this clip art into a circular border. Well, I didn't think it could be done to make it uh, a mathematical border. If we wanted kind of a rustic border, I thought it should be possible. So this was what I did. I took the clip art, and first we need the circle. So I'm going to create a circle. I have the uh, lock turned on so let's make that maybe a 10 inch circle I'll put that in the middle of the page and then I'm going to duplicate that edit and duplicate or control D and that circle I want to be maybe 8 inches I also want it in the center of the page. So now I have two concentric circles. For no good reason, I think I will combine those. It would be easier to delete them a little later when we don't need them. So I'm going to combine those. Now we have one object. We'll check just to be sure. Maybe we'll fill that with a light gray. Uh, so there we have our circle to which we'd like to fit that clip art. The only way I can see to do that is use the envelope tool on a portion of our circle. So I think uh, maybe to select a portion of the circle I'm going to create a square. We'll rotate that square 45 degrees. We'll check to be sure that we have snap to objects turned on. We do. Go back to the pick tool. I'll grab a hold of that corner there and snap that to the center. Notice it actually showed up on the screen center there, beginning in Corel 12. 12 and X3 both have that capability. It actually tells you when you're at the center of it instead of just snapping it like previous versions. Uh, now we're going to use 13's brand new, incredibly useful Smart Fill tool to come down here and fill this area in between there. At that point, uh, we're going to select our clip art. We'll, I already have envelope up there, but just to illustrate, I'm going to shut it down and go to Effects Envelope so you know for sure where to get our envelope tool. That brings up our envelope docker. And with my clip art selected, I'm going to go to my eyedropper to tell it I want to create an envelope from a shape on the screen. So I'll click here and then click out in here. And let's start off maybe with putty and apply that. Yuck, no good. Let's try horizontal, apply it. Maybe a little different effect there. But let's try vertical. And I decide that's the one with which I want to go. So I'll go back to my pick tool. I'm now going to shift select that smart fill shape so I'll have something to snap to and then I'm going to press C to put it in the center horizontally E to put it in the center vertically at this point we're really through with our rectangle we don't have to get rid of it and we're through with our smart fill shape now let's also unfill this part because it looks like we lost our clip art so we'll click on the none there and then we'll select our piece of clip art I'm nudging that downward a little let's zoom up on that where we can see a little better I'm going to nudge that with a small nudge I keep my nudge set at 20,000 so each press of the arrow key will move that 20,000 and right about there looks the way I want it we'll zoom back out on all objects now get a little better look at that uh, let's outline our clip art to make it a little more prominent I did a right click on black to give that an outline. It was already had a black fill there. And then with that position where we want it, I'm going to click on it a second time, not double click, but the second click brings up the 
rotation and skew handles, also the center of rotation. I'm going to grab the center of rotation and snap that to the center of our circle. Then we'll rotate around that center of rotation to bring this about here. I am pressing the right mouse button now to duplicate while I'm moving. Notice the plus sign come up on the cursor. And then we'll duplicate that, uh, repeat that, Control R. And there we have a pretty nice, uh, rustic looking barbed wire circle. We can either use that with or without the circle. Let's see how it looks so without the circle. There's our barbed wire border. Notice though, if, uh, if we want a rustic look, this is uh, really not, not bad. Also note that by using different diameter circle, we could have put more or fewer of those in to make it look closer, like a circle, if that's what we wanted. I must say that this stimulated me to wonder how we could create a very symmetrical circle, similar to the rope border that we created earlier on one of the other projects. And so there will be another video very shortly available on uh, that also. Be sure and watch for it.